Okay. So today we will discuss about Rancher. So what is Rancher? So Rancher is an open source tool where we can manage all the Kubernetes cluster. So generally what like we have this uh, Kubernetes cluster. So how do we access this cluster and how do we manage those Kubernetes cluster? So for that we have to connect this cluster to the putty session. So let's connect. So suppose we have right now we have only one cluster suppose in the production environment you have 20 cluster so you have to connect each and every cluster like through putty session you have to select the cluster and then you have to connect you have to click on connect then you have to run these two command then you can able to connect the cluster okay so this is the like very like heavy works like if you have uh, 10 cluster or if you have 50 Kubernetes cluster in your environment then you have to connect each and every cluster through the command line. So to overcome this effort we have the Rancher tool. So using the Rancher tool we can manage all the cluster with a single dashboard. So Rancher is providing the GUI dashboard where we can like uh, visualize all the cluster in a single dashboard and we can see like how many pods are running there over the cluster how many are pvc are there suppose like if you connect this cluster then you want to see all the pods like what are the status of all the pods So here you can see it here, most of the parts are running STS, some parts are in image pullback, some parts are in crash loopback, some parts are image pullback. So that thing we will discuss later like why this pod are having image pullback and how do we fix the issue. So that thing we will discuss later. So right today's session are fully covered on the only Rancher topic. So here like I have like uh, discuss about the scenario like if you have 50 cluster then you have to connect each and every cluster with the command line so it's a very hectic task so for that to overcome this issue we have to install the rancher so we have to install the rancher through the docker using docker so sudo su so we have to run this command So this is the docker command uh, using this com docker command we have to uh, we have to install the rancher so docker run previous d restart stop this is the port number where the rancher is uh, uh, rancher using this port number and this is the image the rancher image okay so we have to choose we have to run this command So they are pulling the image from the docker hub from the public repository. So now we have to check the status of container. So now our rancher container is uh, running. Now we have to uh, connect this rancher. So the port number is 8443. So you have to go there. So I have installed the rancher on this virtual machine. This is my jump box. So you have to copy this IP and then paste it here so 
it's not working because we have to check like this uh, port is open in our virtual machines or not so we have to check like this port is open or not so you have to go to the networking because when we run this uh, when we are trying to access using this ip and port number is site is not accessible so might be there is some blockage there somewhere so we have to check this port 8443 is open in this virtual machines or not so you can see it here in the under the networking section you have to see like 8080 port number is uh, is open 22 port number is open so you have to add in bond port rule and the destination port range is 8443 you can keep same as it is the rest of all the option like source is any like if you have traffic coming from any of the source so your source port, port range is star like you, they can uh, use any source port range destination is any and the port range and so i am like a uh, opening this port number 8443 and protocol is any action is allow you have to allow this traffic and priority is just number you can give any of the number okay so now add so port is name so now we have open we have create the rules now we have to check so now you can see it it here 8443 port has been opened so now we have to check so when you set up your lab so first you have to create one virtual machine so in the earlier session i have Uh, discuss about like how do we create the virtual machines so on the top you have to install i will share you the command which command you have to run on this virtual machines then after that you have to open this port number 8443 then you can try access the rancher url using this ip so this is the ip of your virtual machines your virtual machine public ip so this is the jump box so you have to go to overview you can copy the public ip from it here and from this public ip you have to copy and then you have to run in the browser even you can also try in from your end also like uh, you have to copy you have to run from your laptop also you have to check you hello so rancher is a tool like uh, rancher is a tool it is a open source tool where we can manage all the kubernetes cluster so suppose right now we have only one cluster so how do we connect this cluster so we have to go to the portal we have to uh, click on the connect option and we have to as then this this two uh, this two command then you can able to access you can able to connect the cluster right kubectl cluster info mm. so suppose this is one cluster then you can like do easily way like you have to run the command you can connect the cluster suppose you have 50 cluster in the environment so how do we manage so you have to connect each and every time the cluster and you can run into the into the putty shell into the jump box then you can able to connect the cluster but in rancher you can like monitor all the cluster status all the pod all the node so you can say rancher is a like kind of monitoring tool like you can monitor all the cluster in a single dashboard you can monitor the pod status you can monitor the node status even you can set up the alert to the rancher like if any pod goes down or if any node down if any issue happen over the cluster then you can get the notification in your mailbox so that thing we will discuss like how do we uh, set up the alert alert mechanism in the kubernetes cluster okay so understand what is rancher
Yes. Yeah. So in my project, I am using the rancher. So for now, we have only rancher to manage the Kubernetes cluster, as per my knowledge. So uh, not monitoring tool. Rancher is an open source tool where we can manage the Kubernetes cluster. So Rancher is providing the GUI dashboard where you can able to see the cluster status, pod status, node status, how many pods are running, those status. So you can say it's a kind of monitoring tool also. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's correct. Yes. Yeah, but most of the, this rancher is a very uh, like a new new things. So it's still company are adopting the rancher. So most of the candidate doesn't have a view of, uh, about the rancher. So this is a very new technology. So you can see it here. This is the dashboard of the rancher. So here there is the option add cluster. So how do we add cluster? Suppose you have ten cluster, uh, ten cluster in your project. So how do we add the Kubernetes cluster into the rancher. So once you log in into the rancher, you can get this dashboard. So you have to go click add cluster. Then there is option like you want to from existing node, you, you want to like uh, where the cluster is running like uh, Amazon EC2, Azure, vSphere, or you want to import existing cluster. So in our case, I have already cluster are running, like cluster are running over the um, over the Azure, like we are using the managed uh, Kubernetes cluster. So this is the Azure AKS cluster that that are already running in our environment. So we have to just copy the name of the cluster. Yes, yes, and the import. And then click on create so it will give the command so this is the command you have to run into the cluster so in this uh, in this yaml file they have all the like uh, uh, yaml file of the rancher pod where they had defined the all the yam all the yaml file related to the rancher pod so once you run this command then rancher pod will be created Yes, then you have to run this command into the cluster. So you, yeah. Yes, automatic process. Yeah, once you run this command, then you can able to create the pod. So kubectl get node. So I, yes, yes, YAML also you have to learn. So in my earlier session, I have discussed about the YAML file. So I will show you the recording, you don't worry. So yeah, so right now we have to copy the command, then you have to run. So again, we have to copy. So now you can see it here, kubectl get ns. So this rancher pod is creating under the cattle, cattle system namespace. Okay, so I think kubectl get all hyphen in cattle system. So it's running, let's see the status. Now you can see it here, your pod is running, like your cluster is added here in this rancher. So if you go there, you have to select the cluster, you have to go to the system project, then you can see here there is no workload because you haven't added. So you have to go there, you have to select the cluster, go to the namespace, now you can see it here, the, all the namespaces are there. 
so first your first task like first you have to add the project like uh, suppose in your environment there are three three teams are working there and each team have different different namespace so suppose this project uh, for dev team so you have to create project then you have to create another project like prod team now you have to create the one more like monitoring team so if you go there and you can see it here like there is three project i have created three project in the runcher one is dev team one is monitoring team one is prod team so if you go there you can no, you cannot see any of the workload there so first you have to add you have to add the uh, workload like you have to add the namespace so i have already created namespace like sama jenkins uh, jenkins uh, namespace like jenkins pods are running there one is namespace related to tomcat so tomcat uh, application running in this namespace so for you have to move into the project suppose these jenkins pods are managed by the prod, prod team so you have to choose the prod team suppose can you mute yourself i think someone has yeah anand thank you so we have to add this tomcat project into the tomcat application into the dev team so now you have to go to the prod i you have to select this is the project you have to go into the prod team now you can see it here the your application is running like you can see it here your my jenkins pods are running okay so if you go to there if you 